man. Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert? Out by Alamo Sea? Alright, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Tell me, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! <clears throat> Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> Listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Meriwether. Mm, those assholes Big again. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over the airstrip, but... All right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. we got to meet them in the air. I... Uh, okay, well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit! Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Mary Merryweather <laughs> networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, and merchandise, just the plane I need to take on a heavily armed, tax funded militia. Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the radio. planes on my 12. They're going to use those weapons for no good, T. They'll be better in our hands. I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment when you've caught up to them? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald. Let's 
just get there first. They're too high. Drop down before they figure it ain't an aberration. You want me to put my nose into the dirt? Dick. You know, Ronald. Ronald, you there? We need each other. Ronnie, old boy, I never thought I'd say this, let alone think it, but it's good to be working together again. You're on the radar, Trevor. Lose altitude. You got bad information, brother. I'm fine.
Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down! I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. <laughs> 